So one of my biggest passions over the last six months since I started taking guitar lessons is playing the guitar. And uh, yeah, I've only been playing six months and I kind of suck. But I'm gonna tell you right now, this has been a huge like time sink for me because of the fact that it removes me from the stress of YouTube and the stress of building computers and the shortages and all that sort of stuff. Then my guitar instructor said, hey Jay, do you know of any inexpensive computers I could buy right now? Because my son really wants to buy a computer and we don't have a lot of money. He did me a solid, so I'm gonna do him a solid. But anyway, here's Wonderwall. Available in 120 and 140 millimeter sizing, the new Lightwings fans from Be Quiet feature high performance airflow and static pressure without the noise. The Lightwings also feature front and rear ARGB, giving you the flexibility to match their color theme with your system. To see the full spec sheet on the new Lightwings fans from Be Quiet, follow the link in the description below. So I'm also dubbing this the 2021 slash two sensible build. Uh, yeah, so the parts that are here are not anything like completely crazy. However, they are certainly a build that anyone would take home right now and be super excited about. But you know what's funny is that almost, I kind of want to show with this build that you can, you don't have to completely decimate and mortgage your house, you know, to, to buy a computer. You don't have to decimate your funds and deplete your bank account. There are still great parts out there that don't require top of the line expenditures. YouTubers like myself, Brands want to send us the best all the time. And that's cool and that's fun and that's exciting, but that's a little disconnected from reality for most people when it comes to building a computer. That's why we're going all the way back to a 2700. The 2700 uh, Zen architecture is still plenty good for games today. And it will be for quite some time. It's gonna allow flexibility to, if they want to live stream in the future, they can. If they want to maybe start playing around, maybe some learning how to do some video editing, perfectly capable of that. And it's gonna be coupled with 16 gigabytes of 3600 megahertz memory. Now, the second generation Ryzen, technically it's 1.5, but regardless, I digress. The, the second gen Ryzen here um, is still very dependent on fabric clock and memory speed. All Ryzen is, but this is when the, the faster the memory, the faster the CPU. So that's why we're pairing it with 3600 and not something like 2666 or something like that. We want it to be plenty fast. Keeping it cool, this is a perfect example of why we love the Vitro V5. This is an Amazon cooler that we've done several videos about. It's price to performance puts it at the top of the chart in terms of its capability and its price. I'll put a link down below. I have no idea what the current holiday pricing of this is, but I can tell you right now, I've got it as low as $23. Don't let that price fool you. This competes with big brands and big names that are far above this in terms of pricing but it definitely disrupts the market in terms of how good it is. And it's Cerakoted black, plus as an RGB fan, who doesn't like RGB? The motherboard we're using, B550M Tough Gaming Plus. The reason why I'm choosing this, it's still compatible with the 2700. At least it should be, because we'll find out. But that gives you forward compatibility as well if, the up, if we want to upgrade the CPU later on to a 3000 series or 5000 series, it will, uh, it will work with it. The reason why I say it should be compatible is because of the fact in order to have the B550M chipset be compatible with as many CPUs as it needs to and have backwards compatibility, they had to drop support for certain CPUs. I believe they dropped support for the 1000 series, not the 2000 series. We'll find out if for some reason it doesn't boot, we have other boards we can switch it out with. Um, but the Tough Gaming, it's a, it's, it's a great feature set. Again, falls under that reasonable category of not having to completely break the bank, but still gives you features you want. Wi-Fi. M.2, uh, PCIe 4.0, uh, Aura built in, so it's, it can control your RGB lighting. You know, does forward flexibility there. Graphics card, this is always a tough one. This is the reason people cannot build their computers right now. This whole genre of part, or that category of part. So this, the RX 6600 XT, I already know what monitor they're going with because we've had conversations back and forth on monitors that they should be shopping for, the, the price range. And I know for a fact that we got a 1080p free sync panel. So with that, it's gonna pair really well with the RX 6600 XT, and it's not too big, it's not too powerful, it doesn't require a ton of extra cooling, so it'll work in the case we're gonna put it in. And then we're using the E500, which is an electronic or digital power supply from NZXT, and it's all black, fully modular, all black cables, so it should pair really well with the aesthetics that we have going here. Storage-wise, we've got another MP600 one terabyte NVMe SSD, 
I will always put NVMe SSDs in builds that I do for friends and family. It's clutter-free, no SATA cables, no SATA power cables, um, and the capacities of them now are large enough to where one terabyte will last quite a while. If they start running out of space, we can throw another one in there and everything will be just fine. And then in terms of the case, we're gonna be using the Metallic Gear Neo. This is actually a brand that's uh, part of Fantex, but it's a mesh panel. Where is it? There it is. It's a mesh panel. It's got plenty of airflow on the top of the front. We'll add a fan or two in there if we need to. Um, great mid-tower chassis that will fit all these parts. It's all black inside now. I, you know, the days of having a bare steel interior are gone. Remember those days where you bought a case because it was finished on the inside? You know, the outside looked great, but the inside was all bare steel. Yeah, adding windows to cases solved that problem a long time ago. No longer do I have to rattle can the interior because it's silver on the outside. Cooler Master, I'm looking at you. Remember the old half series? All pretty on the outside and silvery steel on the inside? Whatever. So they were half finished? Yeah. They were half not gonna buy them by me. <laughs> All right, so with all that said, these are the parts, this is the rationale, let's build it. I need to get this done ASAP. I need to get the Windows installation on there using our what to do after you build a computer guide. And then after that, I will use our guide again. I'll watch my own video so I know what I'm doing on stress testing it to make sure there are no bad parts. And then we'll get this bad boy delivered because Christmas is fast approaching. My finger's stuck in the box. There we go. As sometimes happens on this channel, sometimes things just don't go according to plan. This time, uh, we basically just have to say, screw you AMD, we're not using you this time around because three motherboards later, three CPUs later, two monitors later, two graphics cards later, and two different sets of RAM later, we can't get a single configuration to boot. For some odd reason, it's the first time I've ever experienced this where it's literally, and those might be like, well, it's your power supply then. No, that's not, that's, no, the power supply is fine. Even try different, uh, these are different cables for video. No idea what's going on. One time, like it, we believed it was a CPU compatibility with between the B550 and the 2700. So then we put a 3600 XT, that wouldn't boot. We put a 3600X in there, that wouldn't boot. Did a BIOS flashback on the tough board. It wouldn't even flash back. It just sat there frozen. So we switched it to the Strix board. It still wouldn't boot. Tried the MSI motherboard X470, which is the correct generation for this CPU, both uh, 3000 series. It wouldn't boot. Tried different RAM, just sticks on the DRAM. Clear CMOSs, BIOS flashbacks, nothing will work. So now we're gonna go ahead and just switch over to Team Blue. So I'm gonna now upgrade their entire system to a 10600K 10th gen Intel, brand new CPU, never even used, with a Z490E Strix, or gaming Strix motherboard, a complete upgrade across the board. We tried it, AMD. I don't know what your problem was this time around. I That would have probably made a great video, but the problem is we still don't know. So we set those parts aside. We might come back and revisit that and do another video and I just missed the trash can, whatever, I don't care. Now we can get back to the montage with parts that are going to work. All right, it's on, everything works. All the fans are running, the RGB's RGBing. It's funny because the Fantex fans that come, or the, the not the Fantex fans, but the metallic gear fans on the front are RGB, but only a single color. There's no modes, which kind of sucks. So one of two things are gonna happen. I'm either gonna change out these two front fans to match the Fantex fans that I put in here, which metallic gear and Fantex are the same, but the fans are not, um, to make them match the rest. 
or I'll end up going to Aura and setting these to a solid color, like all white or something like that. But I don't want him to have to screw around with a bunch of different stuff. The nice thing is if I daisy chain those off the ones that I just added, changing one color will change everything. So it won't be anything crazy, except for the graphics card. You have to change that through um, you know, the software for the GPU. But anyway, there you go. The sensible build, the 10 600K. We think we figured out actually what was going on with the AMD build, the AMD stuff and why none of it would work, even though we changed every component. So if you want to see the reasons why, make sure you're subscribed because we will do a video about that this week. Um, I think it's a situation that we're, we're figuring we're on the, the cusp of something kind of changing with the standards and it's going to start showing itself now with people that are trying to mix and match older hardware with newer stuff. And uh, we think we got to the bottom of it, but uh, not 100% definitive yet. But either way, this is a fantastic build. Now we've got a, a mixed bag in here. We've got an AMD product with an Intel CPU and you know, hopefully they don't start fighting each other, you know, because we don't want any, any, whoa, I don't want to bend that. We don't want, that's, I just happen to notice that the angle I'm looking, that's going to hit the glass. I got to bend that down, but regardless. Uh, jokes aside, you know, this is, a, this is a big deal for me to be able to assist with someone who's really brought a new passion in my life with guitar and has, has worked with me and, and has really been helping me accelerate how fast I'm picking up and learning the guitar. Like I said, I've only started six months ago. I bought a guitar a year ago when the pandemic started, tried to self-teach that lasted a few weeks. I gave up because you know, without anybody critiquing and fixing and adjusting for you, it's very difficult. Um, so I started again right after I turned 40. I turned 40 in June 3rd and then like June 8th, I had my first lesson. I was like, damn it, I'm 40, but I'm not too old to learn how to play the guitar. So six months later, I'm really enjoying it. So that's why when he asked me if I knew anywhere that he could get a, an inexpensive computer, he didn't even know about the shortage. So obviously I educated him like, look, here's what's going on. Here's what really sucks. Fortunately for you, we've got tons of parts that we hang on to so that we can do stuff like this for friends and family, like we did for Joseph for his birthday. And now we're doing for Ray and his son. I'm excited about this. So the games he likes to play right now, he only has an Xbox. So he's gonna play whatever games that work on Xbox on his PC, but this is gonna open up a whole new door of opportunities for PC gaming that he's never experienced. He's never done, never had Steam, never played any of the like the Half-Lifes. So I'm gonna recommend he go back and play some classics. I'm gonna recommend he play some newer titles. He can even check out like Halo Infinite on here, obviously. This is going to be a beast of a machine. And the nice thing is it is future ready. I mean, we could throw a 10900K in here eventually if we wanted, the motherboard could handle it, no problem. The GPU is gonna have 1080p, uh, medium to high settings, high FPS, no problem whatsoever. And then in the future, if he needs to change or upgrade things, obviously we'll be there to assist where we can. So now we got to install Windows and get all that stuff going. And like I said, if you want to know how that process works, make sure you guys check out our video about what to do after you build your tower. That way you're not going, caught going, okay, I'm at this BIOS thing, now what do I do? And then after that, we show you how to bench test it and make sure everything's working up to expectations with our bench test uh, procedures. And we show you guys how to do stability checks. We did that, I think last week. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Christmas is always here, almost here. And 31 days of December are thankfully getting ready to go into its very last week. Trust me, we're all ready for a break around here. Thanks for watching guys. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow.